All right. I think I got everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. All right, hello, hello. First of all, welcome to this video. Um, if you're watching this, I appreciate you. Just want to let you know that, you know, personal thank you from me to you. Thank you for clicking and thank you for watching. And I'm hoping I'm, I'm hoping I'm able to help you today. So recently, Subnautica got an update. I got a random update out of nowhere, as I'm sure you all already know. Um, I'm going to just skip past all that. Basically, the update broke a ton of mods that were already working for the game, right? So a bunch of people have been in my comments saying like, hey, this like my my um the modding tutorial i had right i have a bunch of people telling me like hey the mod doesn't work or this doesn't work da, 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 da. and a lot of it is likely because the game isn't on the right version okay so since subnautica got an update you're gonna have to basically downgrade your game back to the the version that we were on before this update came out so are that all your mods start working again so if you're having issues with mods i'm hoping this is gonna be able to help oh my, my computer just flashed for no reason all right all right, and also I'm gonna clarify, this video is only for people who use Steam Subnautica. I cannot help you if you're using the Microsoft Store Subnautica. I can't help you if you're using Epic Games Subnautica because I don't know how those work because I don't have either either of those. I mod Subnautica through Steam because I find it's the easiest one. So, and I, I don't even know if you can change the game version on the Epic Games one. I, I don't know, but somebody will have to clarify that, for, ooh, clarify that for me, but I'm just letting you know right now, you know, so don't like ask, please don't ask me like, hey, I'm on the pirated version of Subnautica. I'm, I'm on the Epic Games. How can can I can you help me? I can't. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But anyways, we're gonna open Steam like so, so you can see I'm on Steam. Do 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 Steam. Blah blah blah. Here's all my games. You know, you can see it all. We're gonna scroll down to Subnautica, as you can see right here. I'm already clicked on it or whatever. Now you can do this one of two ways. You can either right click on Subnautica while in this little like drop down menu right here. So if I right click, oops, wrong the wrong one. Uh, if I right click on Subnautica, you'll see it says properties underneath, or you can go to this gear icon. If you click on Subnautica, like if you click on a game, like you're about to open it, if you click here and then you click on the gear icon, you can also go to properties there. It doesn't really matter which one, it takes you to the same spot. I just wanted to show you both of those, you know, just, just in case you want to know which one's easier or not. Or so you have two options, sorry. So I'm going to right click Subnautica. I'm going to click on properties. Right, and it's gonna give you this little menu right here. You're gonna see general updates, installed files, betas, controller, game recording, and privacy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to betas, right? And then you're gonna see this little option at the top that says beta participation. Now, if you have the most recent update for Subnautica, because I currently have it installed right now, that's why you don't see anything blue right here, and it also says none. So that's how you know you're on the most recent version of Subnautica. When you click on this drop down menu, which you're gonna wanna do, click on the menu, you're gonna see three options. You're gonna see legacy, which is the very, this is the super, super, super old version. Of, the super old version of Subnautica. Like that's where like the, um, what's the mods on there? Like the sock tank, so the sock fauna mod, all that stuff is on legacy and whatnot. So that's like an example of where, how old legacy is. We're not gonna click on legacy. Experimental, you can just ignore that one. But March, 2023, preserving the March, 2023 Steam Deck update for the community. This is the version of Subnautica that we were on before this update came out. So this is the one that you're gonna wanna click on, like you're gonna see me do. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna click on this. So again, betas, drop down menu, scroll down, until you see March 2023 and you're going to click on March 2023 and when you do that it's going to say update queued because now it's going to switch your game version back down to the one you can see it just started downloading already and it's not it shouldn't take that long either yeah it's just, it just takes a few seconds and boom now it's done and you can see now it says selected version March 2023 meaning that now I'm on the version of even though this patch is down here you can see Sonaga 2025 patch even though that's there it doesn't apply to us because we just switched our game version down to the one that we were on before and that's literally all you have to do once you do that you can just you know click the game load it up like regular i'm not going to do it because i have too many mods and it's going to take about 10 minutes for my game to load up because it does every time you know <laughs> that's what happens when you have 800 mods installed in your game you know because you want to be but yeah that's all you're going to do you're just going to change your version that way and then when you load up your game again all the mods that you had before this update should be working again if it doesn't work there is like i can suggest some stuff so i'll suggest some stuff that you could do you could try and see if you know troubleshoot and whatnot um one thing i would do is i would check the mod that you have like the mods that you have downloaded right because some of the mods are being updated to you know work with this new patch but some mods probably won't be updated at all anymore so like just you know keep that in mind 
Um, so some mods are just probably going to end up sort of like how legacy mods are still like some legacy mods are exclusively legacy because they haven't been updated to 2.0. But since this new update came out, we may see a bunch of mods stay on that version of Subnautica, you know, and not be updated to the next patch. One of the first things I would do is I would check which version of the mod that I have installed, because some mods you may have already like if you're just now modding your game, then there is a chance that you might have downloaded the version of the mod for the newest patch, but then you downgrade your game. So now you have a version of the mod that works on the newest version, but not the older one. If that makes sense, I really hope that makes sense. If you confused about that, I can elaborate more in the comments, but so check the ver check the version of the mod that you have to make sure it matches the version of Subnautica that you're on when you downgrade. I would also troubleshoot the mod itself. So maybe, you know, it's possible that we I don't want to insult your intelligence. OK, I'm sure everybody everybody here is smart, but there is a chance that the mod could be installed wrong. I uh, don't look, look, calm, look, I'm sorry. OK, but like because I, I do it, too. I do it, too. It's OK. But oftentimes mods can be installed incorrectly and whatnot, which can make it not work like it's supposed to. So if it's not working, I would try deleting the mod and then re-downloading the version that you need specifically. And then just go through it like slowly, step by step by step by step to make sure everything installs correctly. And if it still doesn't work, I would assume at that point, like if you know 100% that you're doing something right, doing something right if you're installing the mod correctly then you can probably just chalk it up to the mod being all buggy and bad eh, not bad not bad just buggy <laughs> just just buggy and unstable not working because some mods are like that you know there's not much we can all really do about it other than you know boot up the game and cross our fingers hoping that our mods work shoot bro because the prototype mod just came out and when i first tried to record it it wasn't even working it wouldn't even spawn in i had to delete that mod like three different times reinstall it and then it finally started working so like it works sometimes but yeah that's it that's it really um that's literally all you have to do to change your game version just right click on subnautica or go to the gear icon when you click on the game properties betas hit the drop down menu and then hit march 2023 game will update and then your mod should work again hopefully if they don't again try the troubleshooting steps that i just detailed and if you need additional help I can try my best in the comments, but I'm I can't guarantee I can actually help because, you know, I'm not again, not tech tech whiz. Um, yeah, that was it, though. That, that, that's all I have for today. I just wanted to make this short little video because um, that update came out and a bunch of people have been asking me. Other than that, that's all I have for y'all for today. If you made it this far in the video, if this video helped you, you know, I wait, if this video helped you, I appreciate you. How does that even make sense? If you made it this far in this video, I appreciate you. OK. I really hope this video was able to help somebody, someone out there, fix their game and fix their mods. Other than that, that's all I have for y'all. Thank you for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. And as always, I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.